Hi folks, good to be with you. We're in. <laughs> We're in uh, Wigan. Hello. We're just I'm just filming us doing evangelism. You're all right. What's the name of the bunny? Uh, Unity. Unity. Nice yeah. to meet. Please. So Jumbo. Unity stands for Wigan Pride. Oh, okay. We're out doing a, a youth event today for the, for okay. the youngsters who are. Uh, so oh, okay. You're more than welcome to come down and film in there if you want, you know. Okay, where, where uh, is it? We're just down here in... Could you take me down? Yeah, absolutely. We'll okay. Hiya yeah, guys, God bless you. God nice bless you. Tea. Nice to see you. He was, was thinking yeah. that he was going to be attacked as he come out by us. No, 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 really no. no. It's nonsense. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I pitied this poor bugger that made him out. But no, uh, I, I knew when I saw you, you were... Did you hear the argument there, then? I wouldn't have said so. If it's a bit... Do you want your picture taken? Because the quickest way to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Just as friendly to them. Why be aggressive? Why be aggressive? God is a God of love. You know, God's to love the world. Yeah. I love the gospel. Well, you're going to read that, though, aren't you? You love the gospels. Oh, Come yeah. on. Well, read it. Read Matthew, no, Sermon on the Mount. I don't, I don't mean this in any offensive way. Whether it's true or not, it's horrible. Because there's a philosophy of life and the way of being. And I always think the one sentence that they all forget is... A new commandment I give you, love each other, judge like mm. you not as you may be judged, and if they just take notice... Love your that. enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can, you get all the Bible, please read <laughs> Sermon on the Mount. Well, read Sermon on the Mount. Do you know why? Because it's all Jesus' teaching. Right. So there's all this other stuff going on, but I'll tell you now, read Jesus' teaching. And, and this, is, this is where the bigots are all losing with me, because I know my Bible. <laughs> So when they quote one thing that's nasty, I would quote three things that are good. So you've yeah. got a Bible because you've you've been searching it now. Well, years ago, I, I was I, I was a choir boy, and I used to sing uh, a few times a day. I used to uh, get two and six for for singing solo. Two and six, I'm older. Six. <laughs> I'm sixty-four. Never. Wow! I'm trying to get this bloody camera out my face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't look 64. <laughs> look about 50. Are you sure? Okay. Is it okay to film? Is it okay to film or not? Yeah. Okay. 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 So what 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 are you doing today? Um, well, I'm a drag performer, so I dance, I perform, I yeah. do all that jazz. But it's been 50 years since Stonewall riot, so yeah. it's like a memorial, or a minute, a, a memory of those who have passed, those who have progressed and brought us to today. Okay. Can I just ask that this film that you're making, you're yeah. not going to put it on the internet and start discouraging people? No, no, you no, won't. no. We're just filming the day's activities. Yeah, you know, that, that's okay. If you do, uh, legally come after you. Yeah, yeah. That's not the permission we give in. Because uh, these kids have been through a lot. Well, it'd be better it'd be better not to go in if they're vulnerable. You're welcome to come in. I'll come in. in this, I'll come, yeah. Can, can you just say what you've been doing today? Just to tell, let everybody know what you've been doing. Yeah, t today's the... Um, every weekend now, Wigan Council are doing yeah. a breakout event. And today, it just happens to be the BU group, which is a youth group yeah. for kids who are... I say kids because I'm old. But for the youth who are... Um, trying to find themselves basically if they're gay if they're trans or to okay. get support with each other and they do they're a really really good group and it saves suicides it saves lots of people uh, pressure and lots of people getting bullied and yet Wigan's quite a lovely place most people in Wigan we've been round today and people have been absolutely gorgeous including yourselves okay. so um, you know and that's what it's about it's, it, it's about us being inclusive and everybody just working together to be yourself to just to be, be yourself so i don't deny your right to be a christian mm, that, mm, that is mm, your choice mm, and that, mm. but 
But being gay or being trans isn't a choice. It's it's something we, we, we have to do. And yeah, yeah. Um, um, we don't so, do it to offend anybody. But to be honest, most yeah. Wigan people are just absolutely lovely. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's been touching this morning. Walking. Really has. Well, like in terms of like, because I, I struggle because my sister is because uh, I'm a born again Christian. So if I could just talk about my my, my sister's uh, had a, a gay wedding, a lesbian wedding. But yeah, I'm a born again Christian. Had a gay wedding or a lesbian wedding? They've had a, they've had a wedding. It's a traditional, it's a traditional policy, wedding man. with uh, yeah. man and woman. So they asked me to go, and I couldn't felt I couldn't go because. I felt it wasn't according to the That's Bible. A shame. Do you love your sister? Yeah, yeah. What did Jesus do with people? I know, but he loved people. You know, and the, the, the thing being, um, who's anybody to judge anybody? You've I'm, missed a really good opportunity. You, it's obviously bothers you because you I, wish you could. I, I agree. I agree. I don't believe in judging people, but can you have love without truth? between two people is love and it doesn't matter who those two people are marriage. love is far better than hate and it isn't gay marriage now it's, it's marriage. just equal marriage it's just people being technically uh, marriage isn't a it real thing it's only written by a person to say that you are now binding with this person it's a man-made thing but love is a human nature. To love a person, a man, mm. a woman, someone who doesn't identify is still love, no matter what name you give it. I know Jesus I, supported I, I, marriage. Yeah. He should turn the water into wine, didn't he? Yeah, for, yeah. for a marriage. But ultimately, the history of marriage is, is that it was a contract for men to get more wealth. Basically, it, it, so it's, it's, not, it's not a family. covenant from God. It was going on way before uh, 2,000 years ago. Mm. And, um, so it, it, it's always been a misogynistic thing. It's always been a power thing for, for, for men to exchange money. Some, some of you capitalists now will argue uh, it's wrong that women can actually get the money from a family's wealth because it always went to the boy child, didn't it? The first boy child got it. Mm. But the law has changed all that. And the law now says that in this country, mm. it's legal to be married. But, but what, it, what, what my belief is, because I, I, I listen to you with respect, is my belief is that the, the Bible is the Word of God and because it's the Word of God it's the standard yeah so the Genesis account of Genesis 1 2 and 3 where God created Adam and Eve is 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 what the the blueprint of marriage was so it's Why so so but but, but Adam uh, and Eve didn't get married but can, can I can I just, yeah, can I just yeah, say, yeah, yeah. but what I'm saying is I understand where you're coming from but this view that I have is diametrically opposed to what you're saying so it can't there, 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 there is love because I respect you guys I, I respect you and we've had a good time but it does fly against what the Bible yeah. teaches you know? well, well, we're not telling you to believe in it you don't have to believe it's your yeah. opinion your, your well, this shows that people can have a discussion but that, that's yeah. what I like I like the fact that we've had a a discussion and we can agree to disagree and still respect each other. I believe the thing know. is as Christians, Christians yeah. under Christ's teachings. Yeah. It doesn't go all the way back to Genesis then. If you look at the Gospels and some of the things that Jesus did, he's saying everything about acceptance of people who are different, who are diverse, who are yeah. his talk about units, his friends with the units. They were gay men. Mm. It was a euphemism for being gay. And Christ certainly had. I mean, he hung out with 12 guys for most of his, yeah, most of his ministry. I, 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 uh, his his mum wasn't married. His mum had a child from another person. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, God had another man bring his child up. If you think about it that way. Yeah. So if, if, if he wanted to bring in sort of moral high standards, Mm, mm. What do people, what do Christians think if somebody's bringing up another man's child? And yeah, what did Joseph do? Mm, mm. Although God isn't a man. So, but these, these arguments are frivolous when you talk about love. Because love is just love. And it's a beautiful thing. And but, for but, those that can recognise it in all people, I think that's a happy way to be. I know some people can't do that. And I feel, I actually feel sorry for them. That doesn't make me hate them. 
it's um, but can but can you have but can you have um, like I understand what you were saying yeah. but and I've listened to your point of view but for for me like I said like you said a lot about Christ but Christ often went back to the creation account as the model for for marriage and he never overturned that or questioned that but affirmed it so for me I believe that you can't have love without truth that because I, I could say that I love a child yes yeah, but, kind of but but if I do something wrong to the child I'm, I'm moving beyond truth because truth means that if I love the child I'll do good to the child so God for me in the Bible defines love in the bound with boundaries in truth which is his word God actually puts a lot so, of boundaries so, 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 so for me the boundary is that God's showing that true love is within a, a man and wife I take your point what you said there were some good points about God brought up you know yeah it was a good point but that that's Something but I don't think it's trivial I, I don't I don't think it's trivial though it's been Be, because the, the reason why I don't think it's trivial is because you're allowed to have your conscience and it's not right for me to take away your conscience you should be allowed to have your belief See, my belief is that evolution gave me my conscience yeah I'm an evolutionist speak properly an evolutionist yeah and I, I'm an agnostic, I'm, I'm not a Christian, I'm, uh, but I'm not against religion. I yeah. am against what some of the men have changed religion into. Yeah. So, yeah. Some of the man-made rules, and each time the Bible gets changed, it gets changed towards the benefit of man. And I don't mean mankind, I mean men. It always benefits men. Women have been subjugated all their life through various religions, and yet Christ gave his message of uh, resurrection mm. to a woman. First yeah, person yeah. I, to I agree with that. Yeah. So if you're going to believe me that, Jesus wasn't against women, so why shouldn't women be in a church? Because Jesus trusted one good enough to go and tell everybody that he would be in I agree with that. I agree so, with that. So, well, I don't see we need... These are differences of ideas and opinions and how we make our world. And I don't see that there's anything for us to conflict about that. I, I accept your... Your, your view and your opinion for yourself, I respect that, but mine, mine is on a different path. But what, would, you, would you say, would you, would you say your opinion is absolute truth or an opinion? It's my truth. It's and your that's truth. All I can say. And, and so, so what I'm saying is that there should be an allowance for the Christian view, what I was expounding, uh, concerning marriage is a man and wife no, no, but my sister won't allow me to have my conscience because you call me homophobic personally i think it is so well, why am i homophobic yeah. I, I do you don't... love your sister yeah then your place was there that day with her not because of something written in a book um, four thousand years ago or however long it was that that was actually you know the um, you know, a man should not lay down with a man as a woman and all of that. That's one rule. When, when Christians start following all the other 50 rules that is in, is it Ecclesiastes? That, that all, it, there's it. all, yeah, when they start, Levit Leviticus. Leviticus. Yeah, when yeah. they start selling their daughters at 21 because they've not married, Yeah. when they start exchanging 18 year olds because they're not married for six goals, when they stop eating blood, when they stop eating fish, when they stop do, when they start doing all the rules in the, when they start stoning um, the the fathers of people who've done certain things, read the other fifty rules, and when Christians start carrying out all of those things, oh, oh. I'll allow you to use that one sentence in the Bible that turns yeah. around and says a man should not lay down with a man as a woman. Oh. Um, that's fine, but. But, 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 but I, I, I agree, Jesus I agree, with, I, I, I think he'd update his ideas I, in this world. I understand what you're saying, but when you're quoting about Leviticus, there's ten commandments, and it's those ten commandments that, that are the main principal commandments. Don't, don't lie, don't steal, so in those don't ten commit to... So what does it say? Anything about homosexuality? Uh, well, it just says don't commit adultery. 
Right. So, but that will be in the context of the rest of the book, which is about marriage with a man and a woman. Commit adultery, and you know. But but can I just can I just say I just forgot <laughs> to say. Um, I can be called homophobic, but it, to me it doesn't seem right because I am just holding to what I believe the Bible teaches. I am just holding to what I believe the Bible teaches. And that is your that is your right. That is your human. So why would right. what, but if that's my right to believe what I believe? Why should I be called homophobic? Doesn't seem fair. Because you have your right, and I respect whatever you do, and what and your right. My sister's right. If that's what she wants to do. No, people can call me anti-religious because I'm not a Christian, or because I don't believe but it, in certain. But things. it would be called if I if I if I said if I said uh, right if I said something like Are you against? A man and a man being together and a woman and a woman being together. Yeah, on the grounds right. of the Bible. That is homosexual. So if you're phobic about that, it's homophobia. There's no getting around. You don't have to be a real nasty, horrible person to be homophobic. All you need to but, do but it's is on the gra- accept people. But it's, but, but, it, but it's on the grounds. No, no, I accept that they're, it's up to them. It's up to each individual. You know what? Because I'm, I'm going to have to get back in here because uh, I'm you, supposed to be Thank you so stage. much. But you know what? I won't, I won't put this on if you don't want me to put it on. But it's up to I'll you. I'll leave it to your conscience. Okay. Uh, I think it was a I, good conversation. I, I it's a lovely conversation. So and I, I, don't, I don't mind it at all. Deep down inside uh, yeah. your heart, yeah. you're having a relationship with Christ, nobody yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. you do is between you and Christ. You're not breaking. Don't tell me you've never committed any other sins. No, I've committed sins. So you could have committed the sin of going to to your sister's wedding and it it would have just been another sin. And the good thing is is that Jesus died for those sins so you can be forgiven for that. So it doesn't matter. But you would have been showing love to your sister. And it would have been honest. It would have been love of a brother for your sister. It wouldn't because I'd have gone against my conscience and what the Bible teaches. I think the Bible needs to keep its head out of other people's bedrooms basically. No, but I, res- I respect I whatever, I they, they, but I can't, I, but I can't because of my Unity. conscience. Unity. All right. It, it, it's wigging pride to bear. God bless. Uh, no, it's a pleasure. Uh, God bless. Pleasure meeting you. God bless and, you. And good luck with you. You know, I understand what you're saying, but unfortunately I can't. So I respect I respect you my anyway. My path right. has been different. <laughs> all right. God bless Check you. Thank you. Thank you. There we are, folks. We, we had a discussion. And I was just trying to be gentle, but I was just trying to say that it's the word of God that is the standard, and the standard's very clear about gay marriage and etc. But it was a good conversation. I was very gentle with the gentleman. I didn't want to be too strong with him or the person. So God bless. Hope everybody's okay. But uh, we just uh, hold on to the word of God and what the Bible says, even if culture changes etc. But it was a nice conversation. God bless.